Got a deep one right here, Jim. How deep do you think this is? Deep. Uh, like three inches deep. Up to here. Bottle cap. Bottle cap. I buried it. No problem. Up yep. to here. Crazy. Up how many inches? Seven inches deep. Here's a good one right here. 20 kilohertz. Kind of sounds junky. There? Yeah. Jumping everywhere. Yeah, but they might do that if it's we're almost out of range. Yeah, I will definitely dig this target out. This is a dig me target out all day long with any detector that I own. Right? The jumpy tones. The iffy targets, the ones you want to go for, man. Right. And the pipe. Deeper. Oh, that sucker's down there a long ways, man. Jeez. That ain't no way that six inch coral hit that. No. I seen it. Chrome, right there. Something chrome. Right there. It's a pull tab. <laughs> is there another one right there? No. What's that? It's just a root. Huh? It's just a root. Yeah, it's just a root. Look at that. No problem. Six inch coil. Sounded was sounded deep. I'm in 20 kilohertz. Jim is in 15 kilohertz. What's this sound like? I don't know. Sounds good. Sounds like a sprinkler. Yeah, sprinkler head. It sounds too clean, right? Those sprinkler heads sound really clean. Jim just buried a bottle cap right here. Where'd I bury it? Right there. It's rejecting it. Listen, it's like almost seven or eight inches. Is it a steel one or an aluminum one? That's crazy, dude. That is a deep. You buried deep, man. Bottle cap, an iron bottle cap right. that deep. So at least seven inches deep. Coca Cola. Right. Yeah, it is. Seven. Almost seven inches. Eight inches. Yeah, seven, eight inches deep. Yeah, seven or eight. Sounded really junky. Think you could hide it for the next person? No. <laughs> I think you could have won another couple inches with it. Still yeah. Oh. See that big tree? Yeah. Let's go over there, dude. Let's go over the big the coin tree. I, I was smacking a lot of coins out here with my Deus 2 and the Deus 1. The 5x9 elliptical really coil. Good. Yeah. And I came through with my Deus 2 and put it in full tones here. Gold bar? Last year. No. Oh, you don't. I don't remember that, dude. This old rotted out tree here. Screamer. Penny a coin. Penny or a dime? Yeah. Dime. Or copper penny. Is that deep? No. About four or five inches deep. Check the plug. Yeah, it's the plug. Three and a half inches deep. Copper penny. Dime. It's a dime? Yeah. It's a dime. It's spanking it. It's just soil. It's just yeah. the, the soil minerals in the ground. Jim's this is pretty much Jim's first hunt with this with his uh MI4. I was cooking right along and heard that. Uh oh, I like this. Go ahead. I'm a tip of the coil right there. Not? Huh? Green pull. Yeah, pull tab, yeah. That call green pull. Right in the plug. No. It's in the edge. Side of the plug there. Check the check up on top first. I think it's I think it's near the surface. In the plug, right there. No, it's in the it's in the uh it's in the sidewall. 
next to you. Oh, right there. Very yep. Could be a rock too. There's a lot of rocks over in this area. Some cancel. Some cancelage. Yep, you didn't uh, really understand that because I'm still dealing with it, you know what? Uh-huh. Yeah, the the mineral tone on the on the MI4. You really gotta get used to it. Major overload. Right. It's a pop can. That was a pop can, right? I'm not going to go for pop cans right now. There's a lot of pop cans over by this tree. I like that. Yeah. Smooth tone. Give me the sidewall towards your, towards your right knee. I think it's right in the park. No. It's in there, right over there. See, I told you. Sidewall. Ooh, the roots are bad. I remember the roots are really bad over in this area. Oh boy. It's a coin. Is it a weedy? No. Nope. No, not a weedy. Yeah, the roots are really bad over here, but um, yeah. So is the can's law. Like huh? I like the coil. Yeah, the coil is awesome, man. <laughs> a lot of foil over here too, lots and lots of foil. It's massive pieces of foil here. There. Some foil. The hell was that? Pinpoint. Your pinpoint? Yeah. That was weird, dude. I've never heard a legend make that noise before ever. <laughs> but of course, we don't pinpoint very often. We don't use the pinpoint very often. Oh, nasty! Is that a rubber? Is that a condom? Freaking super nasty. Oh, it is. It's nasty. 20 kilohertz in the foil, the trash, All right? Right there. Yeah. Yeah, sounds like an overload. A dime, that was a dime that I just picked out right there. In the trash. So you got right next to that um that cord, that charger. Could be a bag of gold ring. That's a pop lid. A bottle cap? Oh, no. Lots of targets over here. There used to be a house here, you said? No. Huh? Oh, over on the other side of the park. Yeah, look at this uh, thing here. That's that's goes to the school there. It's the electric box for the school. What the hell is that? A zipper pull. <laughs> Part of a zipper pull. A very small portion to a zipper pull right there. There, see that's some brass. Right. Uh, concrete. Let's see what we got going on here. It's a dime right there. Dime. Bam. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Right. Foil. Bottle 
bottle cap here. Right. There's a bottle cap right here near the surface. I want to get this bottle cap out because it's gonna it's gonna affect everything around it, right? There could be a coin around it. Right. You always want to get the bottle caps out because they affect a large area around them, even with the small coils, right? I found a lot of coins, a lot of coins right in this area. Right there. See, you want to clean up the ground as you go. This one sounded really deep, so I have to use my shovel on this one. Right next to the tree. It's just the first day with the LG24 coil, coil and I'm just, we're both parts are just killing it. We're just killing it, man. Copper. Bottle cap. Right. Get the bottle caps out of the way, man. Do a little test here. Single frequency, 20 kilohertz. Go to multi-frequency here. Multi-frequency two here. Go to bottle cap. See, it's jumping all around now that I just put it in multi-frequency, it's just jumping everywhere, all right? So I have to drop my gain down. I'll go up to bottle cap one here. Two. Three. Is there anything else next to this bottle cap here that it's rejecting at three? I want to know that right there. What is a bottle cap rejecting? A knife blade right there, right? Steel USA right there. Right there. What we got going on here? Is it the rest of the knife or is it a coin? Some iron right there. I gotta be careful here. Right. Gotta be very careful here. Right. I do not want to cut myself. It's a battery. Right there. Battery. Double A battery. Some brass right over there. Right. A knife blade. <laughs> Dude. I don't really know what to do with this knife blade. I don't want to cut myself, but yeah. Now I'll go for this target again here. See if anything else is in the hole there. See, just, just jumping all over the place, right? Go back to single frequency, 15 kilohertz. I'm getting no high tones on that now. I was getting a, just a little bit of a high tone in multi-frequency. Bottle cap right here. I'll go to multi-frequency, two here. And it has not rejected that out, right?
Bottle cap is at three here. Has not rejected it out. So it might not be. It might not be um, a bottle cap. It might be some jewelry. Some foil right there on the surface. Some foil. Lots of foil. Massive foil here. Jeez. Part of a cigarette there. Okay, let's see if I can get this target out here. It's over here. It's over here. I found jewelry over here. That time that jewelry sounds junky. Right there. It's a dime. Right? It's a dime masked by some foil there. I was still hitting it in, in 15, uh, 15 kilohertz. Right. I know what a bottle cap sounds like. All the foil. All the foil. And iron there. This multi tool. 15 kilohertz. It's just more stable, right? It's like, it just calms it down when you put it in single frequency. The same with most machines, right? Really, just stabilize the machine when you're running single frequency. Maybe if you're hunting on the beach, you know, when you have some minerals in the, at the beach or some salt, you know, the multi-frequencies do, I, I don't know. I haven't really hunted at the beach much, right? I'm not a beach hunter because I don't live, live near the beach. But in my ground here, the single frequency is working so much better on this machine. A lot of big stuff over there. I'll get away from that trash over there. Put it in 15 kilohertz, something big, very large. <laughs> 